Hey everyone, hope everyone is doing well. So, in this video here, I want to talk about some teams. Well, mostly about some characters I think that will synergize good with Alachino. Now, I would want to get into her kit and break it down for you guys. But you know how it works over here. They might want to strike me again. Everybody else is doing it except me. Yeah. But um, I think from like next week, Friday or something will be the live stream. And they will bring out details about the kit and I might cover it. There's a lot of things to do with the bond of life and I need to do a little more research into it. I haven't been looking into Alecino that much. But let me do straight too far from the video. Let me go and show you some characters that I think will synergize with her. And the first one is going to be... <laughs> I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me. But I am going to pair Alecino with Furina. You cannot tell me no. So the big thing about Fiorina not working with Alecino is that Alecino has a mechanic that she cannot heal. Basically, like when you're in battle and you drop any form of healing, she will not heal. So using a character like Fiorina will not benefit her, right? I think some of you are wrong because a team consists of four characters. So even if Alecino cannot heal, the other three can. You're going to have some good healers with her. So I think that she is going to be a good pair. You see, this buff that um, Furina gives is massive. It's incredible. Like a majority of teams that can't really take advantage of Bennett and even teams that does take advantage of Bennett, when you have too much attack scaling, it kind of falls off. And this damage percentage that Furina gives is insane. Like, I use her with my Zhao. I do not use Bennett again with him. And I get a lot more damage when I'm using Furina. And I don't have to play around the circle. It's, you know, everywhere. So, I think that Furina is going to be a good pair. Despite Alecino not being able to heal by any form of healing in battle, it doesn't mean that your other teammates will not heal. You know what? Let me drop my first team that I think I am going to use Alecino in. We are going to use Hutao as the placeholder for Alecino. We are going to have Wema do that. We're going to have Bennett and we're going to have Cloud Retainer. Now, this team is going to be massive. Alecino will not be getting any healing. You know how fast Furina takes down a lot of them here? So she might not get like the full Furina buff. I think she might be able to get it. But you're going to get the attack bonus from Bennett. You're going to get the ability to plunge with Cloud Retainer. And plus you're going to get the buff from the plunge in itself and some healing. And I think the healing is for everybody, right? So let me just double check that. Yes, it does. It heals all nearby members. So your entire team will be healed when you are doing a plunge attack. So basically these three characters will always have a higher percentage of HP compared to Alecino. So this team is going to be an amazing team. I'm going to tell you one time, this is going to be a very, very strong team. I have seen characters doing 150 to 200,000 plunge vape. That's Pyro characters. Especially when I do a Kazuha Pyro with Bennett. It, it's doing like close to 200,000. So you could imagine how much Alecino is going to do. With a team like this, it might rival the plunge attack that Hu Tao does, which is around 150,000. But you see, Alecino scales with attack. So that's where Bennett will come in. So this is going to be my first team that I think that Alecino is going to exceed a lot in. Despite what everybody say that she cannot get healing, you have to remember there are other teammates in your team that will need the healing, especially if you are Furina. She's going to drain all of them. So we got Furina, we got Bennett, we got Cloud Retainer. Next up, we have Kazuha. Kazuha is the goat of all goats. If you do not have Kazuha, he's on re-rate up right now. You should go and get him. This unit is cracked out. One of the best characters in the game ever. So, with a team with Kazuha, you might want to switch it up. Or I don't think that you will want to use Cloud Retainer. I mean, you could, you know, it's, it's Genshin, bro. You could build any team you want. So, a team with Kazuha in it, you're going to want to have Bennett on this team. So, basically... If you didn't know, Bennett and Kazuha is one of the best pairing in this game. Just like how Furina and Cloud Retainer is kind of like the same. And also like Cookie and Nahida. So my next team will consist of, again, Hu Tao as the placeholder for Alecino. Then we're going to have either Sinsho or Yelan. 
Now this really depends. Since Shaw has a lot of value in a team like this for Alachino over Yelan, is because he gives damage reduction. This thing is massive. If you have Furina at C0 and you're gonna get a little bit of stagger and you want some damage mitigation, you could use Sensho. This is a fantastic option. You know, he's he's the coat of Hydro, you know. It doesn't mean that he is the best option. It could be the best option for certain scenarios. Now, if you do want to go in a more risky way, that's the way how I am going to play it because I want an all mummy team. I am going to use Yelan. Yo, shout out out. Yeah, so if Sensho is the defensive option, then Yelan is the offensive one. She's going to increase Alachino attack by a lot. This thing scales really nice. Um, she does a lot of off-field damage, a lot more than Sensho too, so I mean the best defense is offense, right? You know what I'm saying? It's either going to be Sensho or Yelan or you could use the both of them, but let's say for this team we just have to choose one and I'm going with Yelan. Then the next option will be Kazuha and the final option will be Bennett. This team might be a really good meta team. I mean all of these teams is meta. This is a fantastic team. I'm sure it's going to do really well. This team is all focused on Alecino and doing a lot of damage to our enemy. It's going to be insane. Every one of these characters are going to play a very, very good part in it. But let me switch it up a little bit. We're only talking about Vape. Every time a pyro character come out, it's Vape. It's Vape. There are going to be some fun teams. And one fun team that I want to try, we are going to use Nahida. You know where I'm going here. Then we're going to throw in Dea in this. And you know what? We could either throw in Cookie to kind of mix it up, make this a whole soup. It's going to be Overload. It's going to be Hyper Bloom. It's going to be Burgeon. It's going to be Burning. It's just going to be a really fun all over the place team it you know it's very unconventional you see th this is what this kind of trigger me it's like meta doesn't matter but then meta does terry crafters would be like this team that ain't good this character ain't good meta don't matter right so let me move on to something that i want to experiment with that i haven't really experimented with now you know i am a big fan of yaimiko so yaimiko is going to be the off field electro for this team you know where i'm going at then we're going to throw in bennett in this team as well for the attack bonus and then we are going to throw in a character that i haven't really used that much which i am excited to use now where is she yes gun girl Chevreus, this is going to be an overload team. If you don't know Chevreus here, I, I wish that she had some constellation to remove this restriction. So basically, how she works is that you need a team full of Pyro and Electro alone. If you throw anything else into the team, you're throwing it off. It's kind of like how Nilo needs Hydro and um, Dendro. It, this is like kind of the opposite. So you need only Electro and you need Pyro. But you need to constantly be triggering the Overload reaction. That's how you get the damage bonus. Um, how good is this damage bonus? It's actually kind of good. I wouldn't lie. It's not as good as a Swirl. But it does a good amount of damage because Yaimiko is going to be doing a lot of damage off field. Alecino is going to be doing a lot of damage on field. Bennett will be providing a lot of attack bonus. So if you don't have Yaimiko and you don't want to use Yaimiko, you can use Fisher. She's really fantastic in a team like this and she has just like Yaimiko 100% uptime with the Electro application. So you could do a lot of overload to be triggering Chevreuse. And this team, they will be funneling um, a lot of particles for each other. So expect Alachino to have her burst up a lot of the time. Plus, Fischl, her element particles, it's really, really nice. But this is what I really like about Alachino. Like, she isn't, like, restricted to one team. You could play her how you want. She's, like, one of those characters where maybe you may not have the best team, the most meta-meta team, you know, like... Putao, Yelan, Sinsho, or Zhongli, or Cloud Retainer, Furina, and then Yelan and Putao. You know, that's the meta team right now. It seems like even if you use our off meta team with Alecino, she is going to perform fantastic. That, that's the beauty about her. She's amazing. Really, really amazing character that a lot of players might actually enjoy. Now, we just have to go over the mechanics and stuff and learn how to use it. And I think like a lot of people are overcomplicating it. I don't think it's that complicated. There's just a lot of text in her um, description. And you know, once you get hands on with the character, everything is going to be good. But these are some characters. Well, I mean, it's obvious which characters will work good with her. 
there's a lot of other options you could use here. You know, I really want to try some melt shenanigans using a support gun, you especially if you have the LG for the end. I'm gonna try to do some melt with Alicino and see how that works out. The option for a team here, it's really up to your imagination. You could do what you want. The content isn't really that hard. You know, unless if you're really grinding that hard and having serious problem with the spiral abyss on floor 12 then maybe you might have to drop some of the meta teams but majority of the time is once you have the correct elements to break certain shields and stuff that's about it but you know how genshin is they made it a game where you don't really have to follow the meta all the time unless if you're really seeking some big satisfying big big numbers but yeah guys that's some teams and some characters i think that will work very good with alicino i always like to say that i am a player that goes by experience don't matter as much as what something states on paper what a character will do unless you play the character and you enjoy the character then you will surely know how good the character is there's a lot of characters on my roster here on paper they are some of the strongest units in the game but i just don't like using them so i don't really invest that much but yeah leave it to us down below what you think about alicino and some of the characters that are listed here and list some characters that you will be using with her i will drop my discord down below you could check me out we could chat a little bit we could talk maybe and yeah so hit the like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one take care Take her with me, she was tasty to my sights